Hey y'all, Irix Guy here, back again with another unboxing video. Now this is the DJI Ronin S, and you can check the link within this video's description to find where to order it online, as well as more detailed specs. And you'll be able to find a lot of my a lot of my review videos there too. This video is just an unboxing, meaning that you know if you're new to unboxing videos, it's just taking it out of the box, seeing what's in the box. So this thing I'm super excited about. Uh, as you know, I've been a a long time Sony Alpha user and this is something that will provide me with the ability and again to be tested because I haven't used this yet I'm just taking it out of the box but to be able to to capture gimbal stabilized video you know in theory the same type of video that I can capture with my drones but this is handheld and I'm using my very high quality Sony Alpha camera so Go ahead and just take her out of the box here. That's kind of cool. Let's see, there's some, looks like some documentation or something that's separate there. So let's see, uh, let's see what this does here. Sorry, I had a phone call coming through, but I'm gonna call them back because this is unboxing time. Um, so, this is kind of neat. It's like a, it's a foam type case. Now this is cool, you know, if you're, if you've seen the, uh, you know, the Phantom 4, you know, it came in a, in a foam type case like this. And, and the first, the first thought is that, man, you know, shouldn't I get something better than foam, than styrofoam? But then if you really think about it, you know, if you're tossing this in a suitcase or something, having this foam is, it's lightweight. So it's actually a positive. So just kind of like your, uh, like your uh, Phantom 4, see that latch, see how that opens? Well, we got to twist it too, I forgot about that. So twist it, and then open, nice. So we're going to go through this and look at, uh, look at the various components. I'm not going to bore you with this paperwork, I'm just going to set that aside. That's, that's kind of goofy. To go through all that but let's just take all the all the components out here one by one right, so the first thing we have is in this shrink wrap type material and I'll go ahead and comment the weight this thing is very heavy if you're you know if you're thinking of something that's small and lightweight this is is definitely not going to fit the bill not saying the weight's a problem because the intended use case of this is to film uh, high quality gimbal stabilized video. This little grip right here that came out, super duper nice. It's got a good tactile feel to it. It's very heavy, very well made. It feels to be very well made. And there's a little sticker on it that says, to charge the battery, act, charge the battery to activate before use. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that off. That's, that's kind of common sense that one would expect to have to charge a battery. Uh, so I'm assuming this is probably the piece that has the battery inside of it because of that. Let me see, let me see how this goes back in here. Okay, so it goes in like that. So that's one piece. The next piece is this right here. Nice, very nice feeling case. It, hey, it may even be leather, but it's probably a fake leather. Let's unzip it and see what's inside. We got some silicate gel, do not eat, definitely don't. That would really ruin the day. Uh, ah, USB-C. Got a USB-C to standard USB cable. Got another cable here with some USB-C and, and uh, micro USB. On that end, and on this end, it's that plug. I guess that's obviously some sort of plug for uh, for the Ronin S. And let's see what we got over here. It's nice they included this case. Oh wow, there's all kinds of stuff in this. Got that piece. Got that screw type piece. 
Got these three little screw type things. And it goes without saying, at the time of posting this, I have not yet, uh, I've not yet mounted my camera to it. I've, this is the first time I've taken it out of the box. Then there's some uh, hex key type pieces. So that's all of those pieces. Now there are two more things in here. We're going to look at those. There's this plate. And then there's this piece right here. And something on my to-do list is once I get this set up, if I really like it is uh, because my current tripods, I'm using an Arca, A-R-C-A style plate. This uses a Manfrotto style plate, but I've heard that, and again, this is to be researched, so stay tuned for my videos pertaining to this. But I've heard that the uh, that this plate may work with a Manfrotto tripod, but a Manfrotto tripod plate likely does not work with this. So keep that in mind. Speaking of that, here's the plate right here. You know, it, it, again, all of these components feel super high quality, and I, I wouldn't expect anything less from uh, from DJI. But this is the plate, so you know, that's that's what I'm going to attach to my camera and ultimately I'm going to try to find a tripod uh, that I can use this plate with so I can just keep this plate on my on my Sony Alpha. We've got this piece right here. Let's see what this is. Wow, it's in that wrap and then the <laughs> piece itself has a protective shrink wrap on it. I'm not going to take that off yet. And just a little USB plug and you know, I guess that's the wall charger. Wow, that was quite a wrapping for uh, for a wall charger. Well, I'll go ahead and take this off because it doesn't want to go back in with it on. That's cool. If anybody complains, it's like, man, you got scratches on your wall charger. I'll just slap them in the face. Um, okay, so we got this piece here. Very cool. That is, and that's a very solid feel to it. This is a, uh, I guess you would say a, a tripod type base if you want to sit your, your Ronin down. That's nice that they included this instead of making this a situation where you feel like you've got to get nickel and dimed after you buy this, buy all the accessories. It's got rubberized feet on it. it feels really nice. Very cool. I am, I mean, seriously, this, this build quality is exceptional. Um, and now... Let's see, we got the big kahuna here. Okay. Wow, very heavy. Super good build quality feel. Again, this is definitely something and, and should be signaled by the by the presence of this styrofoam case. This is this is a heavy unit. So definitely not something if you're going backpacking that you would just simply throw in. For something like that, you may want to you may want to look at a different kind of stabilizer for your uh, for your camera. But for a dedicated shoot, you know, going out filming some sort of professional video, this thing is this thing is on point. I mean, from a build quality perspective. Again, I haven't used it yet, uh, so stay tuned for those. Stay tuned to my channel for those videos. But yeah, this is the this is the main piece. Feels very nice. Wow, that is that is super duper heavy, and, and I mean that in a good way. Wow, the control stick right here feels really nice. See how good you can see it in the video. Very nice feeling stick. It's got that rubberized type piece on the side. If you're used to a Mavic Air controller stick, it has that similar tactile feel, but. Curiously enough, this one doesn't screw off like the uh, like the Mavic Air sticks do. Very cool. So yeah, out of the box again. First impressions out of the box are uh, are super good. I mean, this is now here's here's going to be the learning curve here is figuring out how to put this thing back in. 
five. Let's see if we can figure this out. Wow. <laughs> well, let's see. We'll figure it out here. Yeah, one thing's for sure. I know, well, I say I know that. I think I, think I was going the wrong way. Let's see. Um, see so y'all probably laughing at me watching this video. You're like, that guy's an idiot. That's fine. I mean, I should have documented how this was uh, placed in the box before I. Uh, let's see. Let's think about this. Oh, here we go. There it goes. See, it's back in there. It's back at home. It's like, hey, man, thanks for putting me up. But, uh, don't worry about it. Don't get too excited because I am going to be taking you out and filming like a crazy person. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's that. Now, the one thing, I see these extra spots in here. So I'm wondering if maybe that's the future accessories. And also the battery. And again, I'll have to check this out. Can the battery be removed from the grip? It's on the top of the grip, it says battery LiPo 2400 milliamp. So, uh, but I don't know if it can be removed. I don't know if it's a situation where if you needed more than one battery, if you would have to have more than one grip with you. I don't know, to be, uh, to be researched. Again, this is just the unboxing video. So can't expect to know everything right out the door. But yeah, so everything is, I put it back in there, and then to close this case, you simply push that down, twist. Wait. Push it all the way down, tw wait. Okay, there we go. Push it all the way down, and then boom, it kind of latches. And then this thing, as you can see there, it says Ronin S, DJI Ronin S. So not a not a case that I would want to carry this in in questionable environments, but a case that I could put it in and then put inside of a suitcase if I wanted to. So, you know, still a, still a decent size. I'm trying to think of a, of a fair size comparison. Obviously, this is much smaller than a case like one would carry a uh, Phantom 4 in. But it is larger than I'd expected, and I'm not saying that's a problem. Because again, the intended use case for this is to capture uh, very uh, cinematic gimbal stabilized footage. So, you know, that being the case, I, uh, I'm not worried about the size and weight, but it would be interesting to see how it performs. Because this is, you know, this is significant size and weight to travel with. So again, thanks for watching. Check the link within this video's description. You can find where to order the Ronin S online. And you can also find my field test videos because I want to show you the type of stuff you, you can capture with this, uh, with this gimbal stabilizer. So again, think of, uh, think of drone gimbal, but think of a big drone gimbal for your big high-end cameras like your Sony Alphas. Thanks. Oh, and this works with other cameras too. Check the link within this video's description to find the, uh, uh, the various cameras it's compatible with. Uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. YouTube.com forward slash irix guy y'all have a good day hey y'all irix guy here if you enjoyed this video please be sure to subscribe like and share it's viewers like you that enable my channel to continue to grow thank you